It seems my puzzles are too effortless for you, IPC Ambassador. Well, this isn't an invitation, but a summoning. Before we speak, I need to test your character. I imagine this knowledgeable doctor friend of yours has been of great help, yes? Yes, the doctor has assured me of your noble character. He considers you, like himself, a virtuous person who can be trusted by the family. I have come to know you very well as a person, Mr. Aventurine. You're diligent, generous, and willing to cooperate. The fact that you succeeded in overcoming many obstacles just to meet me gave me the reason to believe in your wisdom and courage. But there's one thing I must ask you. That is, you've used your wisdom at the wrong place to meet the wrong person and put yourself in a situation where you shouldn't be, witnessing a tragedy that shouldn't have happened. If I wasn't mistaken, you'd just made a serious accusation against the family. I'm immensely honored by your concern for me, Mr. Aventurine, since you're so selfless and generous. I believe you wouldn't ask for anything in return, would you? The box in which the cornerstone is stored. Cornerstone. I've heard it's a treasured asset of the Strategic Investment Department. A sacred stone that seals the preservation emanator, granting significant power and every liquidation specialist holds one. For an object so precious, it probably comes at an even higher price than other forms of recompense. Mr. Aventurine, when you're out and about, do you always make adjustments to your appearance? Your tie should be on the center line, your shirt must not protrude from your vest, your trouser creases should be perfectly straight, and always aligned with the tips of your shoes. But I don't, because it's not appropriate to do so in public. <laughs> you should make sure everything is presentable and in order before leaving the house. I'm not the kind that takes risks. The cornerstone must be in the custody of the family. Please, don't let me turn you down twice. You compromised quicker than I thought. Unfortunately, it's a gambler that needs a bargaining chip, not a merchant. I can give you your gift money, but before that, I want you to tell me. The fact that you can decisively forsake the box you asked for? What exactly is stored in it? Oh, triple-faced soul. Please sear his tongue and palms with a hot iron, so that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. Under the light of the harmony, all wickedness is revealed. I implore them to shed their light, and I'll ask you questions on their behalf. Next, you have 113 seconds to prove your innocence and gain my trust. You can try, and we'll see if the Harmony rejects you. Question. Do you own a cornerstone? What a simple answer. You, too, understand that idle chatter leads only to poverty. Did you hand over the cornerstone to the family when you entered Panacone? Does the cornerstone you handed over to the family belong to you? Is your cornerstone in this room right now? Is your memory free from any kind of tampering or deletion, encompassing but not restricted to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection? Are you an Avgin from Sigonia? Do the Avgins have any ability to read, tamper with, or manipulate one's own or another's mind? Do you love your family more than yourself? All the Avgins were killed in a massacre. Am I right? Are you your clan's sole survivor? Do you hate and wish to destroy this world with your own hands? Interesting. Now, the final question. 
Can you swear that at this very moment, the Aventurine Stone is safe and sound in this box? Hmm. <laughs> Looks like we can get an answer. Open it, Mr. Aventurine. It's your last chance to defend your honor. Please. <laughs> Are these what you're looking for? Since you came as promised, learned doctor, does this mean that you are willing to take the side of the family in this farce? I've heard you have... Mr. Aventurine's company. I also understand that you're an avid learner who sees the pursuit of knowledge above all. If you agree to assist the family, I'll share our research findings on the Stellaron. You must be quite aware that, besides the family, no other faction is willing to share such information. I need Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive plan. But I've also heard the ten elites in the Strategic Investment Department have united, progressing together in the interests of the IPC. <sighs> the cornerstone which Mr. Aventurine surrendered. Was it really his? But you know that he's a crazed gambler. The more vocal he is about it, the more cautious I must be. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> the Golden Stone. Its color and glow are similar to that of Klepoth's body. Uh, not at the moment. I'm more interested to know the location of his cornerstone. I see. This bag. Mixing a cornerstone, more precious than life itself, with a bunch of worthless jewels, disguised as a gift of money waiting to be confiscated is indeed in line with Mr. Aventurine's style. Learned Doctor, I am grateful for your help. The family will surely reward a righteous person like you. As for the villain, <laughs> I hope he retreats in humiliation. It was all thanks to your friend with a keen eye that I could add a blot of utter failure to your storied career. <laughs> Finally shown your true colors, huh? Oh, and just to remind you, you currently only have 17 system hours left to live. Treasure your remaining time, and savor the delectable aftertaste of defeat. What I performed on you just now was the Harmony's consecration. You were to show allegiance beneath the illumination of their grace, yet you acted willfully uttering nothing but falsehoods, transforming the consecration into a trial. I genuinely see no reason to absolve you from it. <laughs> you misunderstand, Mr. Aventurine. Punishment is meant for the irreverent, but I have seen your resilient spirit, and thus I offer you the possibility of a new beginning. Throughout these seventeen system hours, you will be unable to escape the dreamscape, or contact any of your companions. You only have two paths before you, and it all depends on whether you can complete my test within the time limit. Should you succeed, you will be able to coalesce into the Harmony and be with your family. If you fail, you will suffer the wrath of the Eternal Centurion, and fall into an abyss of doom. I indeed do need a servant to help me uncover the evil hidden in the family from an external perspective. I will purge the evil from the inside and bring the real culprits to justice within 17 system hours. When the time comes, compare your findings with mine. If both our findings align, 
or if you can provide me more insights, then they will truly be able to grant you mercy and honesty. This is meant to be an act of personal virtue, not requiring the family's support. Your bag is over there. Do as you please. I believe you can trade this bag of worthless jewels for everything you need. That's what gamblers excel at, isn't it? <laughs> Off you go, Mr. Aventurine. You are free. I will wait here for your good news. <laughs> Why would I do that, Mr. Aventurine? I'm just wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out. That's all. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. You... Do you truly wish to bring about the destruction of this world? I don't think trespassing on forbidden areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. And... Acheron? The Galaxy Ranger? But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host, don't you agree? Even without the famous Galaxy Ranger. As far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission, so coming here will be unnecessary for you. Hmm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. While the truth remains a mystery, I'm getting close to it. I assure you that the traitor will soon pay the price. Well, other family heads share the same suspicions as you, but in my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Not to mention I personally shackled him a while ago. However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of Aventurine. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. But right now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking up. While the family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe, it might be wise for you to stay alert. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. <laughs> you are so funny, Mr. Security Officer. I hope that sense of humor of yours has helped you find the serial killer. Mr. Gallagher, my patience is wearing thin. Neglecting duties will only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. I don't need you to remind me. Once that ambassador walks through the doors of the mansion, I will know what he wants. My servants see everything. His little magic tricks may have fooled me, but no matter. I'm happy to see how it's turned out. Why do you think that I just let him go? And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? Because my target from the beginning has always been you, Hound. The more noise he makes, the more opportunities I have to make you and your true master pay in blood. <sighs> Looks like your disguise has helped you successfully understand every facet of the family. Indeed, every part of you is real. The brown hair, soft and curly like Benny's. The orange eyes, which make me miss the gaze of Sir Whitaker. That odd scar, the mark of Woolsey. And the gray vest, tie, hound emblem, bottle, the bartending, and your role as a security officer. These are all true traits from all 52 loyal family members. When they are gathered, countless tiny truths are woven together into a lie. You collected a small piece of each of them and claimed them for yourself. Then you invented this facade, a complete Gallagher. Tell me I'm wrong.
This proves that you and the Memory Zone meme death are linked. And that's enough. Listen up. I don't care how you did it. I only care about one thing. The answer to a question. You devil. You wretched, despicable dog. Why did you kill her? Feel it scratch. 